Hey everyone, this is just a super simple video on how to easily find the DTFT of a signal at a couple values of omega. So here I have my signal P of n. I have it written in terms of delta functions. And I want to find P of omega at some values of omega that are easy to evaluate. So when you hear those terms easy to evaluate with respect to a DTFT, the omega values you should think of are 0 and plus or minus pi. This is because at omega equals 0 and plus or minus pi, your DTFT is going to be completely real. There's going to be no imaginary components. And I'll show you why using our formula. So p of omega equals sum over all k of p of k e to the negative j omega k. If omega equals 0, this becomes just the sum of p of k, since e to the negative j 0 times k is 1. If omega equals plus or minus pi, this becomes the sum of p of k e to the plus or minus j pi k. This term is essentially oscillating back and forth between positive 1 and negative 1. You can write out the sinusoid if you want to prove this to yourself. But another way you can intuitively understand this is if I have my unit circle, I know that at an angle of 0, my signal is all real. And at an angle of plus or minus pi, my signal is also all real. Anywhere else, I have some cosine component and also some sine component. And you know, describes the, the total signal. And I want sine to be 0 to get rid of this imaginary component. And sine is 0 at theta equals 0 and theta equals plus or minus pi. Great. Now that we know this, or we'll get rid of that, I'm going to find frequency response of p at omega equals 0 and omega equals plus or minus pi. So at omega equals 0, this is just the sum of p of n, which is 3 plus 1 plus 2 minus 3, or just all of these magnitudes here. all of these coefficients. And this equals 3. P of omega equals plus or minus pi is the alternating sum. This would be P of K. Which is 3 minus 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6 minus 1 is 5, 7. Hopefully I did that math correctly. And now I know that p of 0 is 3, p of plus or minus pi is 7, and I found the DTFT at some values really easily without needing to go deep into complex numbers and handling imaginary numbers. As always, if you have any questions, come to office hours or post on Piazza.